the complete first season. Um, first seasons are obviously important for TV shows. They're where they get their first chance to um, make an impression on people's, um, on viewers at home. And this season is terrible. And uh, <laughs> it really, I don't know how they even got a, a, a second season out of it. We estimate there are three episodes that are great. Oh no, three episodes that are good. One that's great. A couple of good ones. Um, yeah, so it is The Telltale Head and Life on the Fast Lane. Yeah, and... Um, oh, Custy Gets Custy Cancelled. Gets busted. And the Bar of the Genius one are good ones. Uh, yeah, Custy... no, uh, Bar of the Genius is below them. Uh, so three, three good ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's terrible. It's, um, it's, le- it's retro gain, it's politics. It's borderline offensive in some places, <laughs> like the one we watched where uh, Homer's Night Owl. The characters are inconsistently drawn. The writing is terrible. None of the episodes, co- um, only a few of the episodes, cohere into any kind of like structure. Oh, yeah. yeah. But but there's early promise. There is some promise in the crust. I said it. It's a great episode. The crusty gets it, it must have tapped into something at the time yeah. for it to have done as well as it did to get a second season. Yeah, I think probably sure it probably the the ratings I think were pretty good, so they gave him a second season. Yeah, I mean at the time it was a really unique yeah. concept, like an animated sitcom about a normal family. Yeah, that was like normal time in like in the normal length of an episode and in prime time. That was unheard of, really. And I guess at the time it would have been something completely different. As as the episodes stack up now, obviously they, they don't hold up at all compared to you know what comes later, King of the Hill or. Yeah. Prime Simpsons, I Yeah, sure. later episodes of Simpsons, yeah. I saw, yeah, South Park. South or, Park, yeah. Or whatever. Um, but, you know, for the first one out of the gate, you know, I'm going to give it some props. Yeah. I think I think um, it was the, the, the nostalgia critic yeah. who... <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing against him, really. <laughs> um, the nostalgia critic said that he saw the first season of The Simpsons as being like watching a school play. Yeah. Done by like a bunch of ten year olds, eight year olds. You know you know it's bad. It's really not good. The acting's terrible, the writing's awful, the production dies dreadful. But you could tell they put effort into it. They cared about it. And I I, I kind of agree with that statement. I think I get the impression the writers were trying to attempt something different. They do try and tackle yeah. like normal everyday issues throughout the episodes. That's true. Um and they, do, they, they are starting to do stuff with the characters. They, I think you can tell they care about the characters. Yeah, I think there's um, at least empathy for all of them, which is obviously what every TV show needs to keep you engaged. Yeah, there's, you can tell they at least like but yeah, the main uh, Simpsons family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think there's a genuine care for the world they're trying to make and what they're trying to yeah. do. The episodes themselves, of course, they don't really hold up. You know, like um, It's awkward, it's underwritten, overwritten in parts. Um, you know, the animation's all off. Um, but you know, I'm I think the acting is actually still pretty good. The voice actor, yeah, yeah, the acting. Spe- been, the, yeah. the who plays Marge, Julie Kavner. Julie Kavner. She is really, really good in this first season. She is, yeah. Um, Dan Castellaneta. Of he's course. okay. He's yeah. not as good as he would become. No. And then Nancy Yardley, uh, Yardley Smith. Sorry. Well, is she Bart? No, that's Nancy. Is that Nancy Cartwright? Nancy Cartwright's Bart. Yardley Smith is Lisa. She's really good in this. She, she's okay. She's fine. She's still some episodes. She's character. really good. Yeah. Yeah. And she shows she's only as good as the writing is. Yeah. I feel. I feel. Um, well, a lot of the problems are the fact that it doesn't feel like a TV show. It feels like vignettes that are extended out to. Yeah. It feels like shorts where they've just gone. Oh, just pad it out with this. <laughs> they also feel the need to put Bart at the center of the universe. Uh, yeah, most of them do centre around Bart. They are like, at the end of some enchanted evening, film, she and that lady makes a comment, the babysitter bandit makes a comment that you better keep your eye on that Bart, you know, it's got to come back to Bart in some way, because, like, I, I see Homer as being the breakout character, yeah. while Bart was the one they anticipated was going to be popular. Bart already kind of was a bit popular, like, on the, on the Tracy Oldman shorts, he got the most reactions. Um, and they're almost betting on Bart being like the yeah. most popular character from The Simpsons, but he's not really. It's Homer as the breakout character in the end. Yeah. Uh, people were quite taken aback by him. Maybe not in this season, but certainly like yeah, in the like, second season. Well, Homer really gets the most off. quotable lines, like yeah. Doe and and, I, and in like in, in like in previous early nineties promotions for the show, they put Bart at the centre. But you look at pretty much all the Sid Boy Simpsons is marketed now. Homer's right in the centre. Yeah. Um, as opposed to Bart. Yeah, because while Bart's a more limited character, he's just the bad boy. Um, 
And yeah. even it's even great. It's better later on when we kind of get past that. Yeah. And he's kind of he's kind of like just a little boy, just a pathetic little boy who thinks he's better than he is. Yeah. And that's that's when really it's good. He's not Dennis the Menace. Yeah. Um, yeah, they do get a lot better. A lot of the great Bart storylines, the ones that go underneath that, like Bart's girlfriend with Mel Streep, and um, oh, yeah. there's loads of great ones. I the one where they go to um, the state fair, and the whole episode revolves around no, they, they Martin gets that license, oh, and they go to yeah. the, the different fairs, yeah, and the whole thing pivots on um, Bart um, swallowing his pride and ringing with Lisa. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's good for is it great? Um, moon River! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't think he was going to say Moon River and then BAM! <laughs> um, but, you know, but, um, I, I guess what we've overall found of season one is the, the deeply layered themes of depression and... It's more serious than they would <laughs> ever become. It's more serious, but we disagree with the statement that people see as being realistic. No, it's not realistic at all. Well, some of, some of them are really realistic, and some of them aren't. Yeah. Some of them are completely ridiculous, like Grapes of Wrath. And even Krusty gets busted to a degree. Busted, yeah, but that's it's quite, um, it's quite ridiculous in its plotting and stuff. And yeah, well, it, the whole thing pivots around two people who look nothing like each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous, like in the later Sim- in a later Simpsons kind of way, as in like good later Simpsons. Yeah, it's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and the because the best the Simpsons is a cartoon. It should use the format. It shouldn't just be like an. He uses he, he uses the format of the cartoon and kind of. Yeah. Do its own thing with it. I think uh, I think it was the original producer of the Simpsons who said that Simpsons got rubbish when it became just a cartoon. Yeah. Like they, they, they had a really interesting balance. Um, in but in this one, Simpsons. the balance that seems to be off. It's off much. completely. They're not quite worked it out yet. Yeah. Uh, some of them are just playing cartoons, and some of them are just like realistic dramas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A season two is where we find that balance. Yeah. Two season two, I can't wait to watch all the way through again. Yeah. It's two going through to about nine. Yeah, two, two, I'd say two to like seven are yeah. like the prime. Eight and nine are brilliant, they're really great, but we kind of, we're yeah. setting in a little bit with controversial episodes. Oh. We'll get to later. Can't wait to discuss the principal and the path yeah. <laughs> to season nine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but season one just doesn't work in a 